He'll switch. A driving kick to the outer side. It's an absolute beauty right onto the chest of Mitch Hahn. Quick transition from the dogs. Now the acting skipper for tonight, Jan Syracusa. Got it between wing and half forward. Hall's got the sit here. He's got a bit of couple. And he does. Beautiful mark in between two Saints. And Barry Hall will line up for goal 45 out. And listen to the crowd. Look at the crowd. They are up on their feet. Now, this is a terrific mark. You can see he's the man in the middle. And uh, Zach Dawson just lost him. Barry Hall. Well within his range. And of course the Saints had numbers back. Stephen Milne to Fisher. Dropped to the hot footy. Is he penalised? No. Play on. Cooney. Cross. Back to Cooney. Now Boyd. Looks for Hall. He's got it again. Oh, and he gives Dawson a mouthful <laughs> too. You know, Barry Hall's eyes will light up every time a June Syracuse, a Gilby, an Ackermanis, a Cross, you name it. They've got that many players who can deliver the ball so well. Sam Fisher still getting some treatment off the ball. He looks to be OK. Gee, they look sharp, the dogs. Just too conscious on Hall there, Dawson. So Hall for his second. He's got it. And he's followed up to Zach. <laughs> Poor Zach. <laughs> Not sure how smart Zach was, to be honest with you, Cause, because uh, before the first bounce, Zach decided to put the elbow into Barry oh, from did behind. Oh, I missed that one? Okay. And uh, I was keeping an eye on that, and I thought, I'm not sure you want to rattle the cage of, uh, <laughs> of Barry. And so Barry's just letting you know, I'm capable of hurting people. Done it before. Thanks. Running onto it is Williams. That's a nice long penetrating kick towards Gilby. Gilbert lost his feet. Oh, a great pickup. It was a beautiful pickup. Now Hill into the pocket. Hall's all by himself. He takes the mark. He plays on and he kicks his third goal. Players Dylan Addison that his teammates love. They love him out there. Not the most skilled player, but always brave, always gives a contest. Long ball in the hall direction. Three up against him. He's got the three. How many times have you seen two and three opposition players go against Barry Hall? And you've just got to be opportunities at ground level for Bulldog players. Barry Hall, he's kicked three goals. This will just about seal the deal. Two. See that muscle. I reckon he would have been a bit shocked as well. He doesn't mind dishing out the advice tonight, has he, Barry? <laughs> this, this is for you, Robert. Yeah, you love this, Rob. That's impressive. <laughs> that is impressive. There's a lot of push ups there. Fair contrast between that and our own Mark Howard on the boundary <laughs> <laughs> Losing a handle on it is Smith. Dogs get it back. Kick into the corridor. Uncontested mark to Everett. Off to Moles. Back to Everett inside 50. Hall. Oh. Handing out the advice all night has been the bustler. Scary part is he's kicked four. If he had been left alone one-on-one -on -one with Zach Dawson tonight, he probably would have kicked eight or nine because every time he's had a chance, he's been too big, he's been too strong, too aggressive and too good. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, I know it's been spoken about. It's just what they needed. Hall for number five. Dogs are home. Cross, Boyd, now Williams, who's done some very nice things tonight, Tom Williams, and finds Barry Hall with a spearing kick. And Hall can go back now from 45 and kick goal number six. And there in the background, he'll be hoping to be back by that round two. Here's Big Barry, kicks goal number six.
He's got to be a, a chance for the Michael Tuck medal. Robert, would you think? Uh, well, if I was uh, voting, I'd give it to Barry Hall. He started them off in that first quarter. He had a hand in the first three or four goals. Kicked accurately, caused plenty of spills. What a very quiet night. Williams, well done. Now to Gian Syracuse, who's acting skipper tonight. Goes for the top. Hall in front. <laughs> Will he kick number seven? Spiral torpedo, hit him on the chest. So Barry Hall. This would seal the Michael Tuck medal shortly, Rob. <laughs> I, I think he's already got it. <laughs> Has he still got the long bomb from about 52 in him? The man in, in his 15th season of football for number seven. He has. Bang! Goal! You know, some people are suited to a football club. <laughs> and I think, I think this fella is a perfect fit for the Bulldogs. Five goals in the last quarter. He's kicked. Abs gee, it's amazing, isn't it? He just looks like he belongs there. He looks happy. Why wouldn't you be with the talent that's uh, going to kick the ball his way? Armitage trying to get the handball out. Now it comes back to Lake, and that's it! The Western Bulldogs, some silverware at last! After 40 years, they've won the NAB Cup of 2010. It's not the big one, but it'll do for the time being. Well, Barry Hall, you'd have to be pinching yourself, wouldn't you? Six months ago, you didn't know if you were going to get a game. You've had a great pre-season. You've kicked seven, five in the last quarter, and you won the night premiership. You must be pinching yourself. Yeah, look, it's all gone to plan, I guess. Um, I never thought I'd be here, you know, six months ago. So, look, I'm, as you said, I'm pinching myself. It's, uh, I'm lucky to be involved in a, in a great group and the service I get, I can't hustle anymore. That service is incredible, isn't it? They're playing you deep in the forward line. That big chest is getting a pounding from the pill. Yeah, it is. And, you know, the guys <laughs> up the ground are doing all the hard work and it's my job to finish. So, uh, my job to kick straight, which I am at the moment. So. I don't know if you heard it, but around the stadium as you really uh, hit top gear, they were calling out Barry like they used to call Lily at the MCG. They're really taking on board these Bulldog supporters, haven't they? Yeah, definitely. I think it's uh, a bit of a change from the Collingwood cheer squad. It's Barry the Wanker, so uh, they've cut kind out of the Wanker bit, thank God. Is it nice that you're now being called Big Barry rather than Big Bad Barry? Are you enjoying your time in Melbourne? It's another crack, I guess. Yeah, look, I'm enjoying my footy, and, you know, as I said, I can't thank the guys enough, and the footy club for giving me a chance to do that, so... If I can repay them a little bit, I'm uh, be more than willing. I believe you're on one week at a time this week. There's a few blokes said it might not work. You might just have to have a couple of chats to blokes on that panel and just say it's going all right so far. Yeah, I'll make sure I'll let them know, mate. Don't worry about that. Congratulations, mate. Well played. Good on you, guys. Cheers. I tell you what, you got physical with Barry there, Howie. I don't know if it was a smart... Just for a second, he gave him he a did. bit of a look, Barry. He gave him a clip, Howie. He gave Barry a clip on the chest. I, I can't believe it. The winner of the Michael Tuck medal is... Good evening. The winner of the medal tonight is Barry Hall. Uh, first of all, thank you. Um, look, I'd just like to really thank the, uh, the football club. Um, the football club having a bit of faith in me. You know, six months ago, I nearly got away from the plane. So I'm forever indebted to the Bulldogs for giving me a chance. Um, I hope I can really play them during the year. You know, this, this means a lot, but you know, it's during the year that we're really serious about. So um, membership, fans, get behind us. We want a good year. Thanks. Barry Hall, winner of the Michael Tuck Medal.